78 TFM Great One Soap. So I'm sure almost all of us know about round number two. This is the judges question round. If you don't know, I can explain. Um, we'll approach each contestant with a set of cards. Those cards have the name of a particular judge. They'll pick. They have the judge. Once they have the judge, the judge just has a question for a contestant. And they listen to the question. They understand the question. They think and they answer. But you don't have much time. Please be very sportive. This depends on a lot of, lot of factors, I'm sure. But you know, you have to go through this process. I am, I know this is not easy. I know it is even not easy to pick a mic and speak like this. And I know you have been doing a fantastic job, but this is your call. You have to go through it. Shall I begin? Okay, so now they have the grace, they have the brains, they have the beauty. And you have to parade the same grace, brains and beauty through words and thoughts this time. Round number two comments right here. Let's move ahead with the judges speaking procedure. Would love to start with contestant number one, Aishwarya. And your judges, Dr. Jaya Mahesh. Hi, hi, Aishwarya. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing great, ma'am. How about you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay, firstly, what is your weakness that you have given here? What's your weakness? I can see. Okay, the weakness I is that, you know, whenever someone seeks help from me, I can never say no. I mean, I put myself into trouble. I'm ready to put myself into trouble, but I could never say no to anyone who seeks help from me. What, what do you plan to do about it? You know that's a weakness, right? Yes. So what do you plan to do about it? I think it is very important for us to say no whenever we feel to say no. Because I think, you know, helping others and being kind to others and being empathetic to others is also important. But that only comes when we are empathetic and when we are kind to, towards ourselves. So that is my answer. So from now on, I think that weakness is going to convert as a strength. Sure, ma'am. You found it here on this stage. Yes. That's a good answer. Thank well you so much. Thank you. Okay, Shwarya. Good answer. Contestant number two, Akshata. Please pick your jar. It's again Dr. Jaya Mahesh. Hi. How I'm, are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. All right. So our parents are our first role model, right? So they would have taught you, given you some principles and values in life. Which one of the value do you carry on? And I think it's worth sharing it with all of us here. Thank you so much for this question. So I'm very glad to answer this because my parents are right here as well. And I really hope I'm making them proud. The most and foremost thing that they've always taught me is to be kind to people, no matter what the situation is. And especially my dad, he has a very giving nature. And he's also ensured that it has passed down to all of us in the family. So no matter how much you get, it's important you give back, not just to people around you and your family, but to the society as well. So those are the qualities they've instilled in me. Thank you. Proud of you and your parents. Thank you. Make your parents proud. Contestant number four, Arusha. Saleha, ma'am. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, ma'am. How about you? Very well, thank you. You ladies are doing great, guys. It takes a lot of uh, strength to stand there and face everyone. 
you are doing fabulous thanks so my question to you is what do you what is that one quality that you look for in a person and why thank you so much for the question that one quality that i look for in a person is gratefulness for life i think everyone should be grounded no matter where you come from remember your roots i think that is very important thank you so much thank you serena would you mind stepping forward to pick your judge contestant number 5 Reggie Baska sir. Hi. Hi sir. How is it going? Oh very well and excited. Okay. What qualities in a successful woman do you admire and why? Sorry sir, can I please What qualities in a successful woman do you admire and why? I believe all the women in this planet earth is successful every individual as a women we carry the qualities of being compassionate empathy in this digitalized world it is very important to be compassionate among our fellow beings there is depression all over the place but since communication is the key and if you're there for each other I believe that is the greatest quality and I admire my mom in that case the most because this quality is instilled in me by my mom who is a healthcare professional. Thank you. Dear Dr. Thalika, we step forward and pick her jack. Good evening again. Uh, my judge is Saleha Ma'am. Hello. Hello Ma'am. Uh, my question to you would be what are you taking back from this platform? That is a very interesting question put forth to me Ma'am because when I first came here I was very insecure about a lot of things in me even though I was a very confident woman or that is what I thought I was. but once i came here and each of these girls stepped on their heels that very moment my soul sank i was like okay my height was my biggest insecurity but today standing here with all these beautiful women in front of all these people battling my insecurities is the major thing that i will be taking back from here thanks for this platform to help me overcome my insecurities thank you thank you ma'am Contestant number eight, Kauri Dev R Nair. Sar Saranya, ma'am. So hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. So you're from? I'm from Kerala. Okay. So my question for you is. There is a major Kaveri water dispute happening between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu now. Like Karnataka is completely in a bind today. So being a South Indian participant, what stand would you take about it and why? Could you please repeat the questions one like once again? Okay. So there is a major Kaveri water issues like a dispute happening between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Like it is bind is going over all over today. So being a South Indian participant So what stand would you take for it and why I think to every problem the only solution is communicating so if there is a big problem between two states the thing is that our leaders first do not think about communicating and understanding the root cause of the problem right so the thing is we have to understand it the right way and get into the root cause and make proper solutions to it and once we do that i think any problem not just the kaveri kerala problem any problem in this world can be solved beautifully 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next contestant, Harsha. Harsha Srikant. Shiju Rashid, sir. Hi. Hi, sir. What is the biggest uh, problem for the new generation facing now? Thank you so much for that very thoughtful question, sir. It's very relevant to be answering this question. I think the new generation is facing a lot of problems, but the major one would be lack of value education. Right from the beginning, value education is very important. And today, where the world is completely online, where we're losing touch with each other, where we're losing touch with nature, it's very important that parents instill value education, quality value education to their young ones. And this generation is exactly facing the same issue. And I feel like if we all can stand together and try and implement this, we will have a better generation next time and better, better next generations to be coming. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Contestant number. Livia Liffey, 12. Contestant number 12, Livia. Reji Baskar, sir. Hi. Hello, sir. Hi. So, how do you think beauty patients can contribute to the positive changes in society? Thank you so much for the wonderful question, sir. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Me standing here is the biggest example of contribution to the society. I was an average student, good for nothing, back few years back. Right now, I'm standing here bold, facing all my fears and helping out whoever I can. This is one of the biggest examples I can set to the society. And all the girls out there, you have to face your dreams. You have to come across it. Come out of your comfort zone. Thank you. You will never grow up until unless you step out of your comfort zone. I agree with that. Contestant number 13, Leah Elizabeth Joshi. Uh, Saliha Yohanan. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing so great. How are you? Very well. Thank you, Leah. Leah, my question to you is, uh, social media plays a very important role in our lives. We all have become content creators. What should be... Today's generation is uh, constantly looking at instant gratification. Every two seconds, we look at our phones to see how many likes, how many views. How can we manage this? How can we control this and bring about a balance? Okay, if you don't mind, can you please repeat that question once more? Okay, so uh, the youth, and we all are glued to social media. We look at our phones every second to see how many views have we received, how many likes are we getting. So constantly we are on the phone, we are physically present, but mentally we are with our gadgets. You as a youth, what can you do to bring about a balance and bring back that, that life's where we are not glued to our phone and we are with people when we are and when we need to use our phones, we do. Okay. Thank you so much for that beautiful question. To have a balance, the basic thing that we need is knowing how to ba manage our time. As a corporate employee, as a florist, as a student who is looking forward to extend my hands on modeling and acting as well, I manage my time. I manage both my personal and professional life. I managed to find some time for using the social medias. And it's very important that this is the basic thing that we have to keep in mind. It's always good that you, have, you will get a lot of knowledge through social medias, but use it wisely. Spend adequate time in it, but utilize it for good. Thank you so much. That's a very, very relevant question from my side. Because, you know, we thrive on that pat on shoulders every now and then. We thrive on it, literally. So, the earlier you address it, the better your life would be. Let's all be the ambassadors of digital detoxification, which is very, very relevant. Contestant number 14, Muskan I will pick her judge right now. She 
दीजिए रशीद सर हेलो थैंक यू ओके Did you know the um, problem happened in Manipur recently? I'm sorry, but I would like to educate myself on the same. Okay, I'll ask something else. If you get a chance to talk with our Prime Minister for one hour, what will be discussed about the woman uh, strength? Woman strength. Thank you so much for the question. Firstly, if I get this opportunity, I would like to discuss. about the mental health that the women in this generation is facing we need to be heard we need to be valued and respected i wouldn't call myself a feminist but i would definitely say that giving equal rights where women are facing so many issues at their workplace should be heard and they need to get the same things that everybody else is getting thank you so much light falls as the fact that we all have to be updated with the current affairs so that we can answer contestant number 70 ratika sharanya ma hello hi ma'am how are you doing i'm good ma'am thank you So if you could talk to any Indian historical figure who would it be and what would you talk about Thank you for the question yeah If I get a chance to talk to Indian historical figure I would love to talk to Jhansi Lakshmi Bai because she is the woman who has rewritten the history of Indian Indian um She's the woman who's rewritten the history of Indian war field she fought all the battles and yet today even now if we remember anyone who is so brave I, uh, that would be rani lakshmi bai so i would talk to her thank you thank you thank you so much that takes us to the last and final contestant rosman she's contestant number 80 रजी बस कर सर राइट हाय सर सो शुड आई आस्क अ टफ क्वेश्चन और अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन इट्स योर विश सर ओके सो हाउ इंपोर्टेंट आर ऑनेस्टी एंड इंटीग्रिटी इन लाइफ एंड हाउ डू यू अपहोल्ड द वैल्यूज हाउ इंपोर्टेंट आर ऑनेस्टी एंड इंटीग्रिटी इन लाइफ हाउ डू यू अपहोल्ड दीस वैल्यूज Thank you so much for the question, sir. In my life, I give more values to the person who are truthful to us. So there is nothing else spreading love and trust towards people, and it will give us immense pleasure and being kind and everything that we are going to gain through our life. It will marks a. It will marks a, a remarkable. Uh, point in the society and will became a mentor or a person who can motivate others thank you so much sir i'm sure it is very very important to have a very unwavering moral compass because there are a lot of temptations around the best thing you can do to yourself is being truthful to yourself and your conscience so i believe you fought really really well i'm done with all of you right Very sorry, these papers are very very confusing at times. So I am done with round number two. You are done as well. So you may take some time off the pageant. Get ready for the next round. Prepare yourself as well. And dear judges, please keep doing your job well and good. Once we tally, let me repeat. We would love to have an accompaniment from your side, their parents or their family or anyone of you. Transparency is very 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 important. With that, let me say goodbye to all of you. Just. for the time being i'll see you on the next round thank you